I'm the only person at the table who's been on TV but more than one, Phil yeah, Helmuth. Everybody's going to have the same <laughs> delay at some point. So. That's a lot. <laughs> that man can find the television camera. Right? <laughs> I don't know that. Great. We still get to go on break at the end of this row, right? All right, guys, we're ready to go. I just got to make it to the next players. Check. Bet 1200. Call. Full. We're heads up. Trainings, please. Raise to 18. Fold, 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 fold. Call. Heads up. Alright, once again, players in the seniors tournament. In about four minutes, we are going to be getting rid of those green chips. If you haven't done so already, start selling them over to one player at each table. Shortest feature table ever. Players all in. And a call. Base King versus King Jack. <laughs> nice hand. Thanks, guys. Thanks.
Still time for a rebuy? Yeah. Just a heads up, you are on TV right behind you. You're uh, interested in seeing. Not really. <laughs> I think I've seen that on TV. I'm glad my back's to it. Oh, it might be though. If it <laughs> You're gonna have to turn around. <laughs> it's your change. Oh, yeah. Big blind, please. Oh, I thought I'd be the first one out over here. Hey, so um, we start again yes, from beautiful, sunny East Chicago, Indiana. Indiana. It's 13 miles southeast, uh, southeast-ish from uh, this beautiful city of Chicago, and, uh, and we've got a great table. So the right? recap, we lost Ron Majors. We lost Ron Majors, but we gained a Chicago legend. Chicago Joe. Chicago Joe. The, 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 probably the, one of the top five well-known poker players in the city of Chicago. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's on the cover <laughs> of... Uh, of Annie Up Magazine, Poker Magazine. This uh, this time he won a nice tournament and got his picture on the cover. Oh and yeah. he uh, and he follows poker uh, everywhere. So we're going to uh, shuffle up and deal here and get, and get started. And Gina is dealing today. And we have uh, Chicago Joe and I, I don't know what, what number we should call it, but let's say C2. 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 <laughs> C2. Yes. Yes. Um, we got Bob Bethel in C3. We're playing eight handed right now. We are playing eight handed. And we got the Curtis Stokes in C3. Or four, sorry. Keith Rich in five. Russell Burns in six. John Lemming in seven. Sandy Marlett in eight. And Lou Ortale yep. in nine. And so we start off the action here. Here we go. Sandy folds her four two. Keith. <coughs> action goes to Chicago Joe. Chicago Joe with the action, and he's got to starts out, of course, in Chicago Joe fashion. Starts Hockey sticks with a pair with of a pair sevens. What do you like about this event? You know what? I think what's fun well, about the senior tournament is everybody's kind of having a good time. Yes. These guys play with each other in different venues throughout the course of the months, you know, the, the years, and, uh, and and everybody's kind of relaxed, having a good time. Now, these guys are a little bit nervous, wouldn't you say? Because yes, they're at a table good. with mics on, and yeah. Joe won't be nervous, but most of them are a little bit nervous. They're first, probably first time sitting at a feature table with uh, with and the mics on. And I believe they started really early today, what, 11 yeah. o'clock? 11 o'clock start. Well, with seniors. Yes. <laughs> Two <laughs> things. Have, they you they need a little longer early. break <laughs> uh -huh. with seniors. And yeah. you <laughs> you I'm need surprised that it started at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the, the first senior tournament I ever went to, they had, uh, they had a bunch yeah. of Dunkin' Donuts and, and, and coffee out. And I'm thinking, what are you, nuts? You know what I'm thinking? That was the coffee for the senior. But, uh, yeah, no, it's all a good time. And, everybody, and everybody's having fun. And like we talked about earlier, you never know what to expect right. from a senior tournament. And I love the fact that... HPT and, and the crew brought this future tables to be live stream. Yeah. For such a quality amount and for two hundred dollars for a yeah. senior event. For two hundred dollar buy in, yeah. yeah. And why TV and TV, you know, <laughs> everybody could watch at home. The other thing I love about these tournaments is 
everybody gets a chance to play. Everybody gets a chance to sit back and relax and enjoy and, 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 get, and gets a chance to play. And, and, and it's just a ton of fun. Ton yes, of fun. I agree. And these guys just they'll loosen up after a little while and start to l get a little banter oh going yes, back and when, forth. When the blind gets up there, and you'll see chips flying. <laughs> see guy on C2, uh, Bob Battle. Oh, he's been around. I've seen him a lot. In yeah, I've, seen, I've, played, with, I've played with him. I've played with him a bunch of times. He's he's a very good player, very very smart player. Um, tough to read, really tough to read. Tough to figure out it gets what he's tricky. doing. tricky. See what they did with <laughs> right. against King Jack earlier. Yeah, that was a tough tricky, one. Tricky, tricky. I think it was an in inevitable one, but it was <laughs> with that flop. But it was uh, definitely going to happen. Especially with the blinds getting up there. All right, here we go. Starts are really slow, no action. Uh, yeah. Everybody's playing tight. Uh, well, Sandy calls with an ace eight. And Keith's got a pair of sevens and shoves. All in. All in. He's got 4,600. And Sandy immediately ejects. <laughs> what are the. Do we have any uh, blind levels right now? For this oh, we, we, we lost our graphics on the blind okay. level. Yes. Yes. So we probably. Oh. We're probably having some technical difficulties right now with, <coughs> with, with the graphic videos and stuff. You'll notice in the graphics, you can also see their stack size and how many chips they actually have. And everybody starts out these tournaments just kind of, kind of, how long can we last, you know, at the beginning or whatever. Blue with an ace five. He checks. The flop. And the turn. Oh. Great turn for Lou. Just flat calls. And as you can see, Lou's a little nervous with his ace. Just because of his kicker. Yeah, 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 just check it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Try to go to the showdown. No reason to bet. Check, check. Let's just take this one and go to the next one. Right, right. <laughs> Great turnaround out here, HPT and Mary Stuff. So, I so my favorite thing is about poker, at least for me, my, the thing I, I think is the coolest is, you can be a total stone cold amateur, correct, and be sitting at a table with one of the best professionals in the world. Your three hundred dollar buy-in or one thousand dollar buy-in or three thousand dollar is is the same. Yes, it's you're you're, you're on this you're on the level with those guys. You, you, you're at the same table. You're all starting out equal. Um, there's not too many professional, if we call it a sport, professional sports, where you get that opportunity. That's the beautiful thing about poker. Yeah, uh, it brings really people cool. from every different aspect of life every, that they could. Every background, every exactly. income level. Right. You got it. All right. So Bob, Bob's got an ace king. Starting out with an ace king here. That's the most dangerous thing to happen to a good poker player to have a good hand. That's it. Now it's up to <laughs> Joe. So what do we have here, Joe? There we go. So we can see his holdings. Uh, he's got a hand. Oh, he just slips. He checks. Barbero, tricky, tricky again. Limping under the gun with Ace King. It worked for him last time. Very tricky guy. And Joe immediately ejects. <laughs> That's it. Still don't see his. his we, we haven't seen his cards. We're going to guess that it was an ace king. <laughs> oh, I'm going to guess it's not aces either. <laughs> and he didn't pair the board. <laughs> so Bob's uh, been the benefactor of a couple of pretty good hands early. Yes, yes. Especially like the one that. cooler against uh, Ron Majors. Uh, we have been informed that Ron Majors re-entered. So yep. that's another chance to uh, come back to our pitch table. There's always a chance. Yep. 
And Gina deals out the cards. Curtis wakes up with a pair of sevens. <coughs> Should be a good hand to open with. <coughs> Let's see what he does. He just limps. See, under the gun, he's a little nervous. There's not much of conversation at the table, I no, guess. No, they're really, <laughs> <laughs> really tight. And? <coughs> so we got... Jeff Flap, 7-3-8, oh, Bob oh boy. B. <laughs> oh, boy. He's, he's a good enough player we could get away with this, but maybe turn could come a nine for him to have a favorite card, give him open ender and stuff like that. Oh boy. oh boy, here we go. <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they're all going in on this one too. Right. Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't. You think he'll think get away? I don't. Yeah, I think he'll get away with it because since, since the river brought it straight, now he's probably gonna spring up. He's probably gonna race. I think he's gonna race here. Okay. And I think Bob is. I think Bob is folding here. That's just me. You think he can fold three eight? Yes, I. I believe so. Well, that'd be great. I don't know. I mean, he what, he's getting count. two to one with ten eight. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> that's gonna be interesting. With a board like this, uh, Curtis could have from nine ten pocket threes to pocket oh, yeah, There you go. There you go. He's good enough like to play. Like he's a good player. Yes, You're yes. right. You're right. He is a good player. So that's a hell of a lay down. <coughs> and, and I think, I think truly, at least for me, the best hands I play are the ones mm -hmm. I don't play. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> right? True. My best plays are. You are, can't get in trouble. Yes. Right. Yes. Keep me alive at the table and let me yep. keep playing. <coughs> but did you see how the action went down when, after he bet three thousand? Next thing you know, the guy's shoving for fifteen thousand more. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. Right. Basically, you're not beating any hands that, that's. Curtis is limping in with. Yeah. He could limp them with sevens, with threes. Sure. I, if anything, he would have probably rivered the jack there. Jack's full. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, that's what makes, in my opinion only, that's what makes a, a good poker player a good one. When they could lay down hands where... Um, sure. Hands like that, you know? No, I, I agree 100%. And there's... N and the old what's the oldest saying of poker probably there's no shame in folding ain't no shame in folding <laughs> no shame in but folding. nowadays nobody raise nope yep no hold them fold no hold them nope. fold them <laughs> <laughs> no fold them hold them i'll get it right right right, right. Oh. all right well what do we got here joe's takes it down with it ace high everybody folds him. joe gets a lot of respect at the table oh he yes he doesn't yeah. play everybody a lot knows of hands. him everybody knows everybody him. knows the poker him. community uh, great guy. He's uh, a great ambassador for the sport. I, yes. I will tell you, the, fir the very first time I met Joe, I was at a uh, tournament in the city, and um, my battery died on my car. And he said, David, I'll, I'll give you a ride home. He didn't even know me. I mean, <laughs> oh, Kirk, wow. Kirk told him who I was. You know, said, yeah. David's <laughs> battery died. He said, well, I'll give him a ride home. And he gives me a ride. I live all the way out in the suburbs. He, he gives me a ride home. Yeah. Nice guy. No, no, I, it wouldn't take money for gas. <laughs> right, exactly. That's, that's Chicago yeah. Joe. Is that 84? He's promoting poker as well. He is. In a good way. He's a great yeah. ambassador for the sport. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, Joe has the has what we at Windy City call the Wexler. It's a queen deuce. Uh, the Wexler <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He lets it go, unlike Wexler. Who can't oh, let Wexler it go. hand. <laughs> oh. All right, so here we go. Curtis with a jack eight. Russ with an unknown hand. We can all play along. In the flop. Queen seven ace doesn't hit Curtis. Russ reaching for chips and puts out twenty five hundred. And Curtis insta folds. So we don't know what Russ had, but let's assume that there was either a queen or an ace in his hand. Now they're starting to talk a little bit. Starting to, a little, starting to loosen up just a little bit at the table. 
which is which is always a good thing. Mm. Sit back, relax, have some fun. Gina deals him out, and Sandy wakes up with Queen Eight of Diamonds. She lets it go. Keith can do so let that go. Blue's not going anywhere. Great. Mounts his raise and makes it 2K. Russ has ace 10. But lets it go. And Lou's gonna take it down. Go ahead, Nanny, please. It's interesting to see it from this side. I would have never suspected he would fold an ace 10 there, but uh, for not that much. But uh, again, in this part of the tournament, it's about staying alive, it's about staying at the table, about not making the big mistake. So come on out and play. There's lots, lots, lots of tournaments the rest of the rest of the week here at uh, Ameristar in East Chicago, Indiana. The Heartland Poker Tour is uh, hosts a first class event, that's for sure. Um, the people are really nice. The people are friendly. Everybody's everybody's having a good time. Everybody's about helping everybody out, making sure they know where they're going, where the tables are, where things are happening. It's uh, it's it's a really nice venue and uh, and, and a great event. All right, Curtis calls with the king nine. Rush, st Rush stays in with his jack seven of spades, suited jack. John folds, of course, and Sandy checks. So let's see it. In the flop. Sorry about that, David. You're all good, bud. I have to take a little break. Uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Did I miss anything uh, nothing, interesting? Nothing monsters. Nothing monsters? Fold All right. arounds. Fold arounds. <laughs> All right, so we have Russ here with a jack seven of spades. And Curtis, Curtis has hit the board. Down. So Curtis is sitting on seat four, I believe. Okay. Sandy sitting on eight, nine. I I can even barely see uh, Chicago Joe. It's Chicago Joe out of yeah. the frame. <laughs> out of the frame. Oh, there he is. There's Chicago <laughs> Joe. We'll give him a little air time. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's friend. Oh, Curtis had the queen deuce and he let it go. I can't believe it. It looks like the table is not friendly at all. They're no, not they're even talking really, to each really other. Really <laughs> they, start, <laughs> they, just they started to talk a little bit. Yeah, but, but in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it just like went away. I think I really do think they're nervous. I think they're yes. a little feeling a little pressure. Kind of well, I hope they start ta talking to each other so we could have the viewers at home uh, listen in to what, what their conversation is about. There I you hear go. you. We're missing that one. We're missing that one guy at the oh, table. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I kind of like that other camera thing. Wow. Good. We, we have a Kenny Landry. We need Joe in the picture. <laughs> we need Joe in the picture. Oh, look, it's waving <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> there he is. Good looking Joe. With Gina. Look at Gina. I mean, who doesn't want to sit at this table? <laughs> I'd love to. Yes. All right, Joe. Get yourself situated. Exhale. And fold your 10 5. <laughs> there you go. Bob folds. Round to Curtis.
I think most of our players are having uh, difficulties with the RFID also. Well, they, it, it's hard to remember. Here. Correct, correct. It's hard for them to like put them in a little box. <coughs> <or> <coughs> mm. There we go. All right, this is going to be a big hand. I can feel it. <laughs> Gina collects the antes. We're still at 481. So that's a small blind of 400, a large blind of 800, and an ante of 100. Correct. Every player ante is 100, and then we go from there. Hello. Hey, Hello, Bob. Bob, Bob is on there. <laughs> He's just getting the so card man. Big of, yep. <laughs> he is All under the problem the gun with him having with queens. queens is like, uh, somebody has to have a this? good hand. No, he's, he's, he's gonna race, race with, with it, this. yeah. Normally, he's gonna be like, yeah, twenty two is kind of wow, big. That's pretty big. But he's got to get, he's got to get the ace three is out, and the ace four is out. Yeah, but in reality, you want those hands to call. You just don't want I it to hit. See, so the thing is, okay, you got ace three to call, right? Flop comes an ace. How could you lose your whole stack with queens? That's the right, thing. you can just let it go. You could also lose the minimum. Oh, here's trouble right here when the guy have pocket eights with a stack of thirty k against call. Bob, who has a stack of twenty four k. Blue flop a set here. It's Almost game over to Bob. Yep, yep. It's hard to get away with overs, <coughs> especially in this type of structures, especially when you're not that deep. Yep. Assuming yep. that Bob B started the hand with 30 big blinds and Lou having almost 35, 40, 40 big blinds. You got it. Oh, this oh is boy. trouble. <laughs> this is trouble for Lou. Best way to, I, Bob's just going to smooth call here. Yep. There's nothing to be afraid of. Look at him. You notice the queen deuce on the board. Yeah. <laughs> He's still losing the queen queen. <laughs> you gotta go deuce deuce. <laughs> this is where to it kills win. me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, nice smooth call. That'll Took be a very while. unfortunate for Lou to uh, have an eight here. Yeah. The worst thing that could be is if he hits his eight. Correct. I think he's gonna shut down here. He's gonna check. Oh, you never know. <laughs> you never know. He's picking up chips. Oh boy. <laughs> he's got a lot of chips. Right. See, now Bob is thinking, what kind of hands do you have? I have all three <laughs> queens. Smooth call. Perfect. So you never know with these guys. They're very tricky, you know? Yeah, he's a good, he's a good, good player. They're tough to read and tough to tell. Type of diamonds. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Lou is going to lose a lot of money here. And then here comes the race right here. Yeah, now we'll see the race, of course. Yep. Oh, too big. Yeah, too big. It, it, insta fold from uh, right. from Lou, right? I mean, he's been around long enough to know. You gotta fold. Him. But sometimes how the action went down is uh, when people bet three streets, they have to have it. It's not like a semi bluff or anything. Yeah, no one once who they you're bet the river, exactly. Once they bet the river, you have to think. Maybe this guy had aces. Maybe this guy have kings. Maybe yeah. this guy have kings. I find it hard to believe that, well, I've seen it with my own eyes, that seniors, when they play, sometimes they just go crazy. They just barrel every street. Yeah. Well, sometimes they react to, they, they don't want to be the uh, the classic senior player. They, they want to they wanna break the mold. They, they want to not be that, what people are expecting them to be. Uh -huh. and, and, and they get carried away with that. that next but step. I, I think that's also a problem because I don't, I don't think they sit there and they think about those stuff. Right, it's not in their wheelhouse. Correct. You, you should play your own right. game. Right. I agree 100. percent I don't think I don't think that they come into the poker tournament thinking, hey, you know what? I'm gonna play tight today. Oh yeah. I'm gonna adjust to this kid. You know? That, that's good read. Oh boy. Some action. <laughs> we should see some action here. Nine to ten. Are we seeing this right? Their stack sizes, 5.3k. Where's John sitting at? What seat was John at? Oh, seat seven. Okay. Curtis picking up and yeah, oh, here we go. This is it. This is it. There's, there's, there's no way folding into this. Yeah, he's not folding. Yeah. 
Yeah, yep. Looks like we're gonna lose John here. I mean, uh, from what we saw, we lost. Uh, we got a couple of guys that fold nines and a ten. So I'm sure that John is down to one honor. Yep. I believe Back it's a uh, nine of spades. Wow. I believe. Easy on the mic there. Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah. Talking about the nine of space. He, he <laughs> He's down the nine of space. space. Wow. I was just talking about it. Oh, oh, man. Man. Well, See, no matter what you do in poker, okay, okay, you play. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. That's wow. what the that's what right. game is about. This is, how I, this is similarly how I bust. Oh, and and that's why back. they put out all five cards. Correct, correct. <laughs> right? correct. I mean, yeah. you, can't, you can't be mad about it. it. Might loosen up the table a little bit. At least get him smiling a little bit, get him joking a little bit. Oh. See the reaction. <laughs> he's yeah. like the nine. Nobody, what do you do? There's nothing you can do. That hand was that hand played itself was inevitable. It was going to go down that way. That's a one-outer. So yep. He hit the one-outer. <laughs> that's why. We hate it when it happens <laughs> against us, and we love it when it's ours. Oh, correct, correct. I go both ways, you know. And those were the situations that are unavoidable. Yeah. See, what I would like, what I would like to see happen in this future table is when <coughs> two guys have about good stack, maybe forty to fifty big blinds. And they would just Rings. go at it. Yeah, yeah. Like no challenge hands at each all. other. Right, exactly. Because right now, where we watch it, uh, I would not consider it poker right now. Poker is when, when people make big laydowns or when people are like make big moves, make yeah. other people lay down the best hands. I think that's what poker is. Um, I guess we're gonna we're gonna move a player and. Rotate somebody in. Yes, we got uh, Joe G. We got Chicago Joe have a seven in here against uh, ace five of Curtis. Joe's gonna smooth ball here. Oh, I think. for sure. Right. Well, no, oh, you know what? Yeah, he, 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 he only have like nine k. I think he's gonna go all in here. Yep. I mean, he can't just fall and just leave half of his stack and just fold. Could he fold? Yeah. Put, make Curtis conservative. Yeah. See. Wow. See, Joe can fold there. Yeah. Let's stop. I don't think you and I are folding there, <laughs> but I think Joe can fold. I mean, it's very situational. I mean, it was really good. He's on only been one. sitting there for about half an hour, and uh, we only have a small sample size of yep. hands. Uh, I'm not sure if he knows him personally. That's a good point. And a lot of times, it's you're playing with people a lot. <coughs> you get to know their habits, and you get to know their. Exactly, correct, correct. Welcome to the table, Richard. Hey. And Richard Roper sits down. And Keith C looks like C5. Comes back with two. Hello, Richard is Richard. A, a local legend. <laughs> Celebrity. Hey, everybody here's a legend. <laughs> Everybody's a legend. Except us. Uh. <laughs> Richard, Richard's a very good poker player. He plays a lot of charity events. Um, gives a lot of his time to charities and uh, and people kind of love them at the poker table, that's for sure. I would be very surprised if the table stays quiet <laughs> with Richard at the table. He, he should spark it up a little bit. Yeah, he's going to come out fire. I received a couple of texts from people at home. Did you? Yep, they that's said great. that uh, our audio is horrid. Is We're it? having some difficulties with our... <laughs> Get our audio. Call. Call. <coughs> Raise. All right, so st start to pick up the action here. We got uh, Joe racing the 2K with 78 of diamonds. All right, dealers in the senior event. Please hang around, line drop, 180. We've got Lou and Seat 9, pocket 5, and Richard Roper with King. Dealers in the senior tonight, line drop, 180, 500, 1,000. Right. The next hand, lines will be up, 501, with a 1. Or was it a 2 or a 1? It was a 1. Yeah. I think it's All in. Joe shoves with 7. Oh, my lord. He ran into King, Queen. No. Just... Just got here. <laughs> oh, I'm toast. Beginner's luck. 
Hopefully we can get a Where's the exit at? Maybe a nine of diamonds? Oh, that's it. Oh, boy. <laughs> good game. Good game. <laughs> yeah, that's Joe. the end of that. Yeah, good game, Joe. Yeah, I, I, I won't give you to the table. No. This is the oh, thanks no, I get. No. <laughs> <laughs> having you, Joe. Yeah, Unfortunately, we you got to go. <laughs> Chicago Joe is on the go. <laughs> All right, so we're doing uh, we're doing a 5-1 with uh, 100 Danny. See you, Joe. Seed hasn't been too lucky. Yeah, we lost, first we lost two Call legends the first already. Seed, we lost two players out there. And Joe, Joe got a little uh, rambunctious there. I mean, he's short. I mean. Yeah, no, he had to do what he had to do. Yeah, he had two pair. Down to Curtis. Richard call him. Curtis calls Richard. Gets out of there with his 3-9. Try and put your cards, please. Oh. 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 for Sandy. Doubles up. She doubles up. That's she what you need to, to do. Say. She gets to say. That's what you need to do. Sat there patiently and waited and felt like that was good enough. And from what I know about Richard Roper, isn't he like a movie critic? He is a, he's a movie reviewer, yeah. Reviewer? Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and uh, he's, he's around. He's on the Chicago scene, that's for sure. He, he's a... He's, uh, He's a ton of fun. He's a fun. He's fun to be at the poker table with. You wouldn't know he was. You know. I have played with Ron Majors before. I, I have never. Played yeah, with I played with Ron a few times myself, and, and with and with, uh, and with Richard too. And they're both uh, they're both actually very good players. Okay. And uh, as well as uh, just nice people. Right. It's all in with from Keith under the gun with a king ten of clubs. Lou folds. Bob folds. I don't think he's getting any action here. Oh, maybe John? John has a lot of chips. He does. How much is there? 5,000. I don't know how he doesn't call. Just the Only three big blinds. Yeah, call. Call? Yeah, he's yeah. got to call, I think. I mean, it just I know, seems like the right thing to do. King 10. You'll be happy uh, to look over King Jack yeah. in this spot. Yeah, feeling good right now, although the, we have to say Keith is suited. For that extra two percent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there hey, goes the percentages. There the goes the percentages. Oh, yeah. He goes up and then a break. <laughs> Put it in bed and hit what yeah. you need. Correct. <laughs> I'm afraid to say who's, yeah. who's turn. You only remember the time that uh, people saw hot on you, but you remember the time that it goes. That's right. Just right. right. a coincidence, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you feel? How do you feel right now uh, doing this? Uh it's, it's it's fascinating, man. It's it's, it's fun to it's fun to see the people's cards. You got to remember to keep talking. Correct. Right? You gotta <laughs> exactly. Keep talking. There's no stop. Because I can sit here and watch the right, thing like right. I'm watching TV. Actually, this is my second time doing this. Is it? Yeah. When I busted, I I busted the main this uh, May, uh, and uh, I came in sixth place. Um, Congratulations. They, yep. Thank you. Thank you. They they interviewed yeah. me and they uh, <laughs> put me in a boot. That's uh, awesome. Commentate on the last remaining five players. Well, and those who have played with me know that I commentate at the table all the time. On and off while the I'm mic. playing. Uh, while you're playing, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun part. You know what? That's that's. I think that's what we're missing. We need characters in the table. Okay. That would have a little conversation here yeah. and there. Yeah. You know. Not be afraid to throw out a, exactly. a little bar beer there. Exactly. Or <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it fun. So you know. I agree. Yeah. I agree totally. <laughs> <laughs> let's I'm have some fun. Let's play. Let's, let's goof around. Joke a little bit. 
Um, for all the people uh, at home watching this stream, uh, I would I would recommend coming out here for this HPV event. We have uh, we have a couple of good tournaments coming up. We have the uh, six max uh, two hundred dollar buy-in six max on Tuesday at two p.m. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, we're here. Hey, we're live. <laughs> I definitely recommend coming out and and, yes. and, uh, and playing and, and and just relax, take a deep breath, have some fun, have a great meal. <laughs> um, and, and enjoy the poker here. These guys know how to know how to host the tournament. That's for sure. Yep, correct. And um, not only that, uh, we they uh, they do a lot of qualifiers. So if you want to play in a bigger oh event and could not afford it, you could start from yeah. buying into ninety dollar qualifiers. Yeah, we're sometimes twenty qualifiers. percent, sometimes thirty percent of the people that correct win 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 a uh, win a seat. As little as sixty dollars, you can win yeah. a seat to uh, two hundred qualify uh, two hundred seat. Um, I talk to people all the time about uh, who, who are who play online, free 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 online stuff, and 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 they say they're kind of afraid to go to a casino or afraid to go play or whatever. Don't be afraid. Just go to a small game, go to correct, a one two correct. game, or come out to Windy City uh, charity events. Um, come on. Players all in. All right. So, so you know, uh, I mean, definitely, yeah, we're definitely come out and have a good time and relax and and it's the cards. Don't worry about the guy next to you. That's for sure. Right, right. So we got a new player. Yes, uh, Doctor Gary Lambert. There you go, sitting in what we're calling it C two. Correct. <laughs> sitting in C2. He's coming in, we're gonna get some more information about him and uh, we'll talk. Uh, we'll talk we'll more about him. We'll tell you a little him. bit about him. Yes. 